morning. My name is Ashwati. I belong to the 2013 batch of Indian Administrative Service, and I belong to Karnataka cadre. And currently, I am posted as Deputy Commissioner, Mandya District, Karnataka. So I'll just explain to you how a day of mine looks like. Generally, I wake up around 5:36. I am an early riser. I like waking up early. So I wake up sometimes around 5:30 or around 6 o'clock. I'm someone who likes to do a lot of meditation, and sometimes I'm, I like doing yoga. So early mornings are generally reserved for either going for a walk in the garden, or I do yoga for around half an hour, or sometimes I do meditation for around half an hour. And I like reading. Uh, I'm into reading books. I really enjoy reading books. So after my yoga and meditation, generally I read till say around 8:30. After 8:30. then i key start getting calls and the uh, work business starts so uh, normal working days when i say normal working day i am referring to a time which is not election or when there is no natural calamity so during elections and during natural calamity of course we work 24/7 there are no specific timings uh, so other days when there are no elections or no natural calamities Uh, my office time starts at 10 o'clock so sometimes i come to office by 9:30 or sometimes i come around 10 o'clock and again office days are divided into various categories around 3 to 4 days in a week i take court in the afternoon session from 3 to 5 so during the other days it can either be field visits only or i sit in office and i have series of meetings so for example i have meeting from morning 10 o'clock to evening 5 o'clock there will be series of meetings and a lot of people would come to meet me a lot of public would have come so in between the meetings i try to attend to the public who has come to meet me uh, so other than that we have a lot of video conferences which are taken by a respective maybe principal secretary or a respective minister of some department so either there are when so a day in, uh, during which i am in office if i am in office it means either i am attending uh, vcs chaired by my senior officers or i will be taking video conferences for my subordinate officers who are assistant commissioners tehsildars or other line department officers or i'll be in series of meetings and in between i will be attending to the public who has come to the office and also in between that i have to attend to all the files which are put up to me uh, so this is how a day looks like if i am in office otherwise i might choose to go to the field so field inspection means either i go and inspect a school or maybe an anganwadi or a primary health center so sometimes there are certain works which are being taken up by say urban De- urban development urban department uh, the municipal council or the tm prasabhi or nagar sabhi they are constructing say a solid waste management plan or may plant or maybe some roads and drainages they are developing a park so i choose to go and visit some of them or some of the other related field visits so some days are devoted for field visits and some days are devoted for uh, office work and some days it can be a mixture of both so i prefer personally i prefer to do a lot of field visits because i believe that whenever you go to the field it gives you a lot of clarity it gives you first hand information about a problem which is there in the field and you get to, when you get to know and when you interact with people when you interact with public when you speak to them rather than reading a file you get you get a much more better picture of the problem or of the situation so personally i prefer to do more of field visits so i try that i try to maintain that in a week at least uh, say out of uh, six working days at least three days i try to be in field and after that uh, by evening say around 7 o'clock i reach back home 7 7:38 as i said this is not during election or natural calamity during other normal days maybe by uh, 7:38 i try to reach home uh, after that i just be with my i have a son who is 2 uh, and a half years 2 years 4 mo- months old so night time i try my best to be with my baby and after that of course there will be lot of phone calls which are happening and nowadays there are lots of uh, professional whatsapp groups like for each scheme and for each purpose we have different whatsapp groups so there you know we'll be i'll be following up the progress of some work or of some instructions that i have given over the phone call or over the uh, whatsapp or some other app and uh, meanwhile i'll keep getting lot of calls so i'll handle both i try not to take any files home that's a personal decision of mine even if there is extra work i try to finish it off in office 
I prefer to sit in office, clear the file, and go back home late rather than carrying the files home. Of course, it's not possible all the time, but at least I try to uh, maintain it. And I try to uh, go to sleep by around 10, 30, 11. I generally prefer to sleep early and wake up early. And uh, with regard to elections and uh, natural calamity, as I have already told you, there are no timings. Of course, you will be in field 24-7. Uh, for example, uh, two months back, we did the uh, South graduate constituency election and we were all deputed for counting. So the counting went for around two days continuously. So from uh, say one day early morning, six o'clock till the next day, we were continuously in the counting hall, not even going out for uh, eating or bathing or whatever, bathing or whatever. So during such times, of course, we have to work 24 seven. Otherwise, the timetable is slightly flexible. Second Saturdays and fourth Saturdays are government holidays and Sundays, of course. But uh, what happens is with regard to the working uh, style of an IS officer, mostly even if it's a government holiday, even if it's a Saturday or Sunday, sometimes we might have work. There might be protocol work. There might be visit from a dignitary or some senior officer. There might be a meeting call. So it's not that it's not compulsory that all government holidays we are free. But at least on the days where we do not have any particular government work, uh, I, I, it's, uh, I personally try not to attend private functions on these work uh, these days because as I mentioned, I have a baby who is uh, just two and a half years. So at least on these days, I try to be with the baby and uh, my husband, uh, Mr. Bagadi Gautam, he is working as a deputy commissioner in the neighboring district, in the district of Mysore. So during weekends, if he doesn't have any other government work, he tries to come over. So at least during the weekends, I generally try to be with my family. I uh, try not to give any other appointments. If it's government work, of course, I cannot say no. I have to attend because it is my duty. But if it's a private function or any other private invite, I generally prefer to stay with my family rather than attending any other private function. So I just stay at home. Uh, we have a pet. so we stay at home, spending time with family members and my pet or reading and writing or something. That's So professionally, whatever your post is or whatever your rank is, I believe that it is extremely important to have a healthy, a happy and a healthy personal life. So when I talk about personal life, it includes say uh, your dietary habits, what you eat, how you eat, at what time you eat. Uh, and also your workout habits, maybe you like to do yoga, maybe you like to do a normal, uh, you know, go out for a run or some people prefer going to the gym. And also the personal relationships that you have with your spouse, your family members and the friends you have, the social life you have. And you know, it's also very important to cultivate hobbies which keep you occupied. Now what happens is unless you do not have a healthy personal life, it starts reflecting very poorly in your professional life also. And as you know, this professional life, the life of an IS officer, you will have to deal with a lot of situations. Some days can go really bad and you will have to deal with a lot of stress. So when you have a healthy and a happy personal life and when you have a good personal habit, what happens is it helps you a lot in, in balancing the stress, in managing the stress also. It helps you a lot in uh, managing these kind of situations also. So it is very important that you take care of your personal life along with your professional life because unless you balance it, it I don't think it would be you will be successful in your life unless you learn to balance it. Now, of course, it's not I know it's not possible to balance it every day. You know, it's not that every day you should give 50% here and 50% there because uh, as I already told you, certain there will be certain days where we off, where your professional side expects say 80% or 100%. It can be an election scenario, it can be a natural disaster scenario. So there are days where you, where you have to give 100%, where you have to give maximum to your professional post, the demands of your professional uh, field. But end of the day, eventually you will have to uh, ensure that both are balanced. So as I told, generally I, I ensure that every day I do uh, yoga or you know I spend time for meditation, I like reading. Now I do this because these are the things which gives me peace of mind. With regard to another officer or another personality, maybe you know, maybe it's going out and playing basketball or maybe play, playing cricket gives you happiness. So whatever gives you happiness, you should always see that you should cultivate some hobby of yours and you should always see that some time is kept for the for your personal life. 
सो आई ऑलवेज एंश्योर दैट अलॉन्ग विथ माई प्रोफेशनल लाइफ माई पर्सनल लाइफ इज ऑल्सो बैलेंस्ड ऑफकोर्स समटाइम्स इट्स डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज फॉर एग्जाम्पल ड्यूरिंग कोविड सेकेंड वेव आई वॉज ऑल्सो टेस्टेड पॉजिटिव and i had to be in isolation for almost 7 to 10 days and at that point of time my son was not even 1 year old he was too young and my husband was also in another district so the baby was alone uh, with my parents so it was very difficult to uh, see him away from me to to keep him away from me but at that point of time i did not have an option so some days are tough but we have to manage and end of the day you have to see that your personal life is balanced so whatever gives you happiness whatever is it can be having a pet at home it can be going for trekking whatever it is you have to see that there there is some you know there should be something which you look forward to do at the end of the day there should be some factor which makes you want to wait for the next day there should be some personal aspect also which you should nourish along with your professional life so generally many of the aspirants rather than understanding about the job profile of an is officer sometimes they focus on the perks and allowances of an is officer like for an outsider they might uh, talk about the bungla of or the residence of a uh, is officer or you know the staff that we have or the car facility or the transport facility or you know such kind of allowances that an officer gets but as i have already mentioned unless you are passionate about a job unless you are really interested in serving the society unless you have that uh, view point there is no point in joining the services because what happens is even if one is staying in a very exotic location even if your residence or official residence is located in a very exotic location firstly you will be there only for like one year or two year and also it's not that you will be you, most of the time you will be spending in the field or in your office work attending to the public and other you know greater situations which the district demands so rather than focusing on just the salary or some perks or some allowance that an officer is getting the concentration or your final goal or what you aspire for should be at the end of the day the common good that you can do for the people so this is how my day looks like from morning till night and this is the work that an is officer deals with at uh, maybe during the initial 10 years the job profile of an is officer and these are the Uh, work that generally we deal most of the days i hope that i've been able to inspire you in some way and i hope that you learn something from me and i am also looking forward to learning something from you also from your feedback so all the best to all of you for your preparations thank you